folks. Today I'm going to be teaching you a song by Benjamin Francis Lethwich. And the song is called Pictures. Okay, it's a really nice song. I'm going to be doing some finger picking. We're playing some nice chords, simple chords. There'll only be five of them all together. It's a bonus. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Now the first thing that we're going to do is to make sure that our guitar is in tune. Okay, so I'm not going to do the old playing the strings down. You guys should hopefully know when your guitar is in tune. Okay, but it's going to be our standard tuning. So it's going to be E, A, D, G, B, E. E, A, D, G, B, E. But that's going to change because we've got one of these on. Capo, capo, whatever you want to pronounce it. Okay, got one of these on at the sixth fret. So I want you guys to get your capos. Count along. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pop the cap on right there, and we'll get started. So, our chord shapes, that's going to be our first thing that we're going to really look at, okay, in the song. So, our chord shape is, uh, we're going to use a C add 9 shape, we're going to use a G over a B, an E minor 7, a D chord, and we're also going to use an A7 with a sus4. Alright, so I'm going to walk you through these chords, but as I said, if you look below, you'll find the PDF file. You can have a look at them there as well. Alright, so let's take the C chord. So, our C add 9. What we're going to do is we're going to be taking our middle finger to start off with. Okay, um, We're going to be taking it along to the 3rd fret in relation to the capo. Okay, so the capo's here at 6. What we're going to do is we're counting along. This is going to be a new 0 fret. We're going to count along 3. 1, 2, 3. That's us ending up on the 3rd fret. And that's going to be on the A string. A second from the top there. Let's get that note. Alright, first finger is going to sit underneath that, second fret. That's going to be on the D string, so we should get these two notes now. Then we're going to play the open G underneath that, so it's an open string. And then we're going to take our ring finger here, and we're going to pop that down on the B string at the third fret. So hopefully, your guys' chord should sound like this, playing from the A string down for four strings, you'll get this. Right, so that's our first one. Nice and easy. Second chord, it's going to be a G over a B. Okay, and all we need to do to play that chord is we need to lift off the middle finger and pop the first finger up a string. So you're now going to be playing the second fret on the A string. All right, there's going to be two open strings on the D and the G. So we should get this. Okay, fairly nice sounding chord there. Next chord, E minor 7, okay, for this one, we're going to take our middle finger and just pop it underneath our first. Really easy move, really simple this one. Just going to go down, play down five strings now, we'll just play down the five strings, starting from the E, so you're starting string lower when you play down, so you should get this. Okay, so that's our E minor 7 chord. And then our last one is our D chord, okay? And we're only going to really play three notes of our D chord, okay? So our D chord, some of you guys should know this, okay? But we're going to just play with taking these two fingers off, first of all, and we're going to put our first finger down on the G at the second fret, okay? So that is going to give you this sound, starting from the D string this time, okay? We're going to get this. Okay, so there's the sound of the chord there, nice and easy. We will be adding a note into that, okay, using our pinky, but I'll cover that as we get to our picking pattern, okay? Last chord that we need to worry about is our A7 sus4. So if we go, come from the D to go to that one, all we need to do is move our index finger up a string, and that's us got it there. So we're going to start from the A string this time, play down four strings, start from the A, one, two, three, four. You should get that sound. Okay, so that's our five chords that we need for the song. All right, so let's get started with playing this through. Right, so we've got our C chord here. Nice and simple, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our picking pattern. Right, so we're gonna take our right hand here and we're gonna work out what fingers we're gonna need here, all right? So our thumb is the first thing that we're gonna need, okay? Our index finger 
to the next one and our middle finger here. So we'll get these three fingers are going to be in use today. Okay? Nice and simple. Let's try and see if we can uh, work out where these need to go. Alright, so our middle finger is going to stay on either the A string or the D string. So it's going to be covering two strings, okay? Either one, okay? Sometimes the A, sometimes the D. Okay, so your thumb's covering those two. Nice and easy. Alright, then what we're going to do is we're going to be popping the index finger on the G. And it's not going to move from there, alright? It's just going to stay there. Alright, so it'll always be playing the G note. Okay, or the G string, sorry. And then our middle finger is going to sit underneath that. Okay, and that's just going to be playing our B string. Okay, so this is going to keep us hopefully like uh, giving us like a little bit of a, how can we say it, a little bit of a rule. Okay, so that we kind of know where our fingers are meant to be. Okay, so we don't have to chop and change which fingers go where. We've got a simple rule. If we stick to the rule, it's a lot easier on our brain for figuring out what we're meant to be doing. Okay, so to get our picking pattern down for our first two chords, all we need to do is take our thumb and we're going to play our A string with the thumb. We're going to play the B string with the middle finger, so you're going to pluck the B string down there. Okay, so you get this sound, you go from the A string, the thumb, middle finger on the B string. And then to finish it off, you're going to move your thumb down to the D, play that. And then you're going to play the G with the index finger. So you're going to get basically a four note pattern. One, two, three, four. So it just repeats through. Okay, now we're going to just change our chord now. We're going to change to our G over B one. So we've moved that index finger up a string, lifted off the middle finger. We're going to play the same pattern. So it's going to be thumb, middle, thumb, index. and simple there all right so you're going to play the c chord for two the c and nine then you're going to play the g over the b for two so i'll play that through nice and slow for you just to hear how the changes will go so here's the c to the g over b okay so you see i played two picking patterns okay one picking pattern would be classed as like that okay so one Two, one, two. All right. So that takes us through our first two chords. Now we're going to change up to the E minor now. Okay, this is an E minor seven chord. And um, what we're going to do for this one is we're going to play pretty much the same picking pattern, but we're going to be moving the thumb up to the E. Okay. So the thumb is going to be covering the E string. That's going to be playing the first note up here. Going to be playing that note right there. Okay. So, our picking pattern will now go thumb on the E string now, okay? So this is like a little bit of a, like a little bit of an exception to the rule, I suppose, okay? But your thumb's going to be up here now, so it's covering the E. Then we're going to go back to the normal pattern, so that would be middle on the B string, thumb on the D, and index finger on the G, okay? So that's going to be thumb on E, Middle on B, thumb on D, and your index on G. Okay, so you see you're skipping over the A string now. Your thumb's doing a little skip. Alright, so that's our third chord. Then we get to our last one in our verse. Okay, so our last chord in our verse is our D shape. Remember our D shape? That's it written down there. We've got it. Um, the D, the open D. First finger on the G and middle finger on the B string. So we should 
see that. Okay, that's our sound. Now, to play this, we're going to be playing all three strings at once. So we're going to get this sound, okay? That's what we just kind of like played there just to get the sound of the chord. We're going to get this. And then we're going to be taking our pinky here. It's a pinky. Now a lot of you guys might hate this move, okay? Okay, so here we've got a hammer on there. We're going to use the pinky for a hammer on. All right, now the pinky is sometimes a useless finger for the guitarist. Okay, a lot of guys don't like using this at all. But it's really, really handy, okay? So you might have to persevere with this, okay? But you're going to get a wee bit of dexterity practicing this with your pinky, okay? So we're going to be playing our chord like that. And then our pinky is going to come up and hammer on the fourth fret on the G. So it's going to go ahead of the first finger. You know, the first finger's here at the second fret. It's going to hammer on ahead at the, at the fourth fret. Okay, so you should get... Okay, you know that? You can get that sort of hammer on sound there. You play the string and then push down as hard as you can with your pinky to sound the note. Okay, good idea. So, from there, we're going to be playing an open D. And then we're going to lift up our pinky and play our bottom two notes of our chord, or our top two notes, sorry. That's going to be our second and third fret on the G and B, respectively. Yeah. So you'll get this sound. Okay, so that's all together hammer on with the pinky, open D with the thumb, second and third fret, lift up the pinky now, and that'll play the bottom two, uh, the top two notes, I'm sorry. <laughs> so we'll get this. Okay, so you get the hammer on, open, lift off the pinky, and you'll get those two second fret notes there. Okay, the last bit, we're just going to do an alternate between thumb and lifting off this finger completely, our first finger, and playing those two notes again using these two fingers down the bottom of G and B. That'll just be an open in the third fret now. Okay, so we'll play that open, together, open, together. So you play that little thing through twice there. So all together, you would get this part. guys understand that, we've got our D chord, our hammer on, lift off the pinky, do an all on it with a thumb, followed by your two fingers, lift off the index finger and do alternate again. Okay, hopefully that makes a bit of sense. And that's our last chord. Okay, in our verse. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take it on to the chorus. Alright guys, for our chorus, we're going to be taking our last chord that we haven't done yet, and that was our A7 sus4. Alright, so hopefully you guys remember that, that shape that I showed you earlier, and you can also have a look at the PDF file underneath. Alright, so we're going to go for our A7 sus4. And we're going to be playing the same picking pattern that we had before on the C add 9 and the G over the B chord. Alright, so that picking pattern was thumb on the A, middle on the B, thumb on the D, index on the G. So we should get this sound. Thumb, middle, thumb, index. Like that. Okay, does that make sense? does <laughs> and then we're going to take our middle finger and pop it up on the third fret to get our next shape which is just a C add 9 and you're going to take exactly the same uh, finger picking pattern thumb middle thumb index okay so if you put those two together you'll get okay two on each one two C two go to the E minor 7. So you remember that one hopefully as well. And that is just going to be thumb upper string to start off with on the E. Like so. It's getting 
sunny outside, as you guys can probably see. <laughs> uh, we're going to be playing thumb, middle, thumb, index, but you've got the skip. You start on the E, middle finger on the B, thumb on the D, index finger on the G. And then our classic ending for this song is this D chord with the hammer on. Okay? And that's how we play through the tune. So the whole chorus is going to be C, E, and then D at the end. Okay? And you just repeat that through as needed for each part. Okay? So that pretty much concludes it all our parts, we've got our verse and our chorus, that's really all the rest of the song, alright? Um, one thing that you guys will maybe look at if you're like not as used to these chord shapes or anything like that, is to maybe take a wee tip for your chord changes, alright? Uh, you probably have noticed that there's one finger running through the, the whole song which stays in the same place, okay? And that is your third finger, your ring finger, okay? So, if you are doing your changes, you know, remember that you've got something on the guitar, you've got this sort of linchpin here that will just keep you in place and help you understand where these first and middle fingers need to be moving to, okay? So if you're changing from, say, your C to your G over B, that's going to stay in the same place. All you have to do is move up the index finger and lift this one off, okay? Practice these moves slowly if you're not used to them, alright? But remember, you've got this finger here that's going to stay here the whole time and give you a basis for all the chords that you need to use okay so you see it works for the C works for the, the G over B it's there for the E it's there for the D and it's there for the A as well all right hope you guys enjoyed the lesson um any requests or anything feel free to private message me or leave a comment below um, you can subscribe I'm planning on having quite a few more of these lessons up this week so stay tuned if you like this one I've got another um, Benjamin Francis left which one to look at hopefully as well maybe look at Atlas Hands and just a couple other songs just a couple of popular songs that you guys might find uh, a tutorial helpful for alright well thanks guys I shall see you again soon <laughs>